Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can compare one set of numbers in your report to a different set of numbers in your report. So in this case, I'm going to create an opportunity report. This would work on any report, but I'm just going to pick an opportunity report for this video. So I'll just pick my columns like opportunity name, dollar amount, stage, and let's say close date. All right, but you'd, you'd make whatever report you actually care about. So here I've got my fields and when we run the report, it just looks like this. It's one big table. All right, but what if we want to group by a value? Maybe we want to group by close date and out of the box, when you group by date, it wants to create a grouping at each day level. Um, but maybe we want to group it by calendar month or calendar quarter. So now we've got a report grouped by quarter. Well, what if we want to group by quarter and then subgroup by stage, right? So now we see all of our deals by quarter by stage. So now we've got two levels of groupings. And we might want to compare the values of one level to the values at another level. So let me show you here what I mean. I'm going to run this report and we'll see what this report really looks like. So notice that I've got the parent grouping at the calendar quarter level. And then I've got the child grouping at the stage level. Well, I might want to compare the stage level dollar amount or the stage level number of records to the calendar quarter number of records or the calendar quarter subtotal. All right, so whether it's a subtotal or it's a number of records, what we wanna do is compare the child grouping to the parent grouping. So to do that, we edit the report and we create what's called a summary formula. And this would show up as its own column in the report. So give it a name that you would understand or would make sense to you. And you can pick the type of value you're gonna have, whether it's a number or dollar amount. In my case, I'm gonna calculate a percentage. And what you're gonna do is decide at what level, at what grouping does this formula belong? Does it belong at the grand total? Does it belong at the close date? In my case, I'm gonna make this belong at the stage level grouping, the sub grouping or the child level grouping. And we're going to use a function. And really the real magic here is this function called parent group val. What this will do is go to the parent level grouping and grab the right field from the right grouping level. So what you do here is you pick which value you would want. Here I want the dollar amount from the parent grouping. Well, which parent grouping? You could have multiple different fields that you group on. So here I'm going to have the parent group val get the dollar amount from the close date level grouping. So now that I have the parent value, uh, I want to compare that to the child value. So what am I going to compare? I'm going to compare the dollar amount. So I'm going to compare the dollar amount at the stage level to the dollar amount at the close date level or the, the quarter level. So how much did we close in this particular stage? And what percentage of the total does that represent in the quarter? And when you're done with the formula, you'll see that you have a new column in your report and that value shows up for each individual stage level grouping. So if we look at the uh, subtotal for closed loss and closed one, you can see what percentage they make up for that quarter, right? So uh, in Q1 of 2021, 89% of the deals were closed one and 11% were closed lost. And that's based off the dollar amount that we're looking at. What if you want to compare it to the uh, number of records, not the dollar amount, right? So maybe you want to see how many records are in one grouping or the other. So I'll just go back into that summary formula we created and I'm going to edit it really quickly. Instead of using the dollar amount, I'm going to use the record count, how many records are in the groupings, and I'm going to compare those against one another. I validate the formula to make sure I didn't make a little mistake, run the report again, and now this formula is going based on how many records are in each of the groups, not the dollar amounts. All right, I hope this was a helpful explanation of how to use the parent group val function 
in your summary formulas in your reports. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.